for this tutorial you will need your selected yarn today I'm using Karen Simply Soft in the colour Sage you will need a crochet hook for this particular yarn I'm going to use a five millimeter but take a look at your yarn label to see what it suggests you will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to finish off your ends you're going to begin by creating your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer insert your hook and you're going to do a chain length of multiples of five so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through that's two three four five keep building your chain in multiples of five until you get to the length or width that you want and meet me back in just a moment. So I've now completed my chain. My multiple of five was 15, just for this sample piece. And after you've done your multiple of five, you're going to add two extra. So it's multiples of five plus two. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start our first row. Now our first row is going to be slightly different to the other two. I'm going to show you three rows in total. So this first row is going to be different and then it will be row two and row three just repeated as you go along the work. So we are going to do a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. Please remember I'm working in UK terms. So a double crochet in the US is known as a single crochet. So we're not counting the loop that's on the hook. We are skipping the first one and working a double crochet into the second chain. So insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull through. You'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, both loops on the hook. We're then going to chain three, one, two, three, and then what we're going to do is treble crochet four stitches together. So the way that you're going to do this is you're going to yarn over like you would do a treble crochet, insert your hook into the next chain, grab the yarn and pull it through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two loops and then just leave these two loops on the hook while we work into the next stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two loops, you'll be left with three loops on the hook. We're going to do that again two more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through just two loops, you'll have four loops on the hook, and then yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, grab the yarn, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, and you'll be left with five loops on the hook. At this point, you're going to grab your yarn and pull through all five loops on the hook, and you're going to chain one, which will secure that in place. What we're then going to do is do a double crochet into this next chain. So remember that's a single crochet in US. So you want to insert your hook straight into that chain, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. So at this point, we're going to repeat what we've just done. So we already started with a double crochet right at the beginning and then straight after the double crochet we changed three. So that's what we're going to do again. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then treble crochet four stitches together. So a treble in the US is a double. So it's yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and then grab the yarn, pull through two loops, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, you have four loops on the hook, and then once more, and you'll be left with five loops on the hook. So you're going to grab the yarn, pull through all five of those loops, chain one to secure that into place, 
and then do your double crochet into the next stitch. So for my sample piece here, I'm actually now working the last set of clusters. You might want to pause the video and work your way to the end of your work so that you can get to the same stage as I am. So go ahead and do that. If not, then continue watching and I'll show you how to finish off this row. So we've just done a double crochet. We're going to chain three and then we're going to treble crochet four stitches together. One, two, three and four. Yarn over, pull through all five loops on the hook, chain one and then you'll be left with one stitch at the very end which you are going to do your double crochet into. So that is your first row. As I say this one is going to be different to the rest of them but from now on we're going to repeat rows two and three in order to build the work. So to move on to the next row, what we're going to do is chain five. One, two, three, four, and five, and turn the work. And we're going to do a double crochet into the top of this cluster. So if you just turn your work upwards, you'll see um, a long, slightly longer stitch just here and that is the top of your cluster. So it's just before your chain three section here. So you're going to do a double crochet into that section. So catching both loops of that stitch and do your double crochet. And we're just going to repeat what we've done pretty much uh, before. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And then we're going to treble crochet four stitches together. But instead of going into the chain, we are actually working around this chain space or these chain spaces just here, which we created in the last row. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain space, grab the yarn, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. So you're just working around. So that's our first one. That's number two. three and four. So we have five loops on the hook, grab the yarn, pull through all five loops and chain one to secure. We're then going to move across and do a double crochet into the cluster from the previous row. So again, turn your work upwards, you'll see a slightly bigger stitch there, or you can just pull this and see that it's the stitch just before the chain. So insert your hook into both stitches and do a double crochet. And then we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. We're going to treble crochet four stitches together. That's a second, third, and fourth. Yarn over, pull through, all five stitches, chain one, and then repeat again. So again, if your piece of work is longer, then please feel free to pause the video, work your way to the end, and then I'll show you how to finish off this row. But if not, keep watching and I shall show you now. So we're going to repeat what we've just done. It's your double crochet, chain three, one, two, three and then we're going to treble crochet four stitches together one two three and four yarn over pull through all five stitches and chain one so when we work on this side it's going to be slightly different to when we work on the other side and that will become more evident as you build your work. So at this point we are just going to do a treble crochet which is a double crochet in the US into this very last stitch. So 
So yarn over, insert your hook into that very last stitch of the previous row, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that just finishes off that second row. What we're going to do now is chain one and turn the work and we're going to go straight into doing a double crochet into the top of this stitch. So we go double crochet into here and then chain three, one, two, three, and then we do our trebles around this chain three space. So tr um, treble crochet four stitches together. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through all five of those stitches and chain one. We're then going to repeat. So double crochet into the top of the next cluster. Chain three, one, two, three and then four trebles together around this space just here. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through all five stitches, chain one, and then I'm going to be working into my last cluster just here, so it's a double crochet. chain three, one, two, three, and then treble crochet four together, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through all of those stitches and chain one. So when you get to the end of the third row, you'll be left with this chain five from the previous row, which is correct. And all we do in there is a double crochet. So that's single in the US. And then we're pretty much ready to repeat our row two and our row three. So you may wish to rewind the video back to the instructions for your row two so that you can continue to build your work. I'm going to go ahead and build a few more rows just so you can see what this work starts to look like because one edge will look slightly different to the other. So I shall meet you back in just a moment. So I've just added a, another four rows to this just so that you can see the difference from side to side. So you see that one side has the chain fives that we were working and the other side is much more solid. So that's just the way that this pattern builds. But it's a really beautiful pattern, really nice and textured. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below of the written instructions on my blog just so that you don't have to keep watching the video or just so you can keep track of where you are in the pattern. But I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.